Hi, this is Larry London. Welcome to Border Crossings. Today, we are joined by the lead singer and the principal member of a group called Crack the Sky. They've been together for a long time, 45 years, I believe. John Palumbo's with us. Hello, John. Welcome. Hi, Larry. Thank you. Good to be here. Now, 45 years is a long time to make a band last. What's the secret to the longevity? <laughs> secret is that we really love what we're doing and uh, love what we do and, and uh so it's not that difficult to keep it running mm -hmm. and so you decided early on that this is what you wanted to pursue as a career what yeah. was it about you know the alternative rock genre that drew you in to, to wanting to be a musician full-time well it wasn't so much the alternative rock it was music in general and it was the Beatles that did it for me. It was, you know, uh, I was just crushed by that. Uh, and there was nothing like that around the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, after about a year or so, I said, this is what I want to do. Well, that's great. And how did you find the other guys in the band? How did they come to uh, you? Well, uh, when uh, we started the band, I started it with Rick, who was in the same hometown that I was living in at the time. And then he said, I know some guys and, you know, long story short, we picked up guys from home uh, and then moved to New York. Uh, we're talking to John Palumbo, who is the lead singer, lead vocalist with the band that's celebrating its 45th anniversary with the re-release of their very first album. And uh, we're happy to have John Palumbo joining us. Crack the Sky. Why did you guys come up with that name? Where's that from? Uh, Ricky came up with it. Actually, we were dri we would drive from home, West Virginia, up to New York City to try and get a deal. Uh, and we had this old mail truck, and we had our our, our gear in that. Uh, and we were crossing the Poconos, and every time we were we crossed the Poconos, there were major storms. And there was one that that hit really close. Lightning hit really close to the truck, and Ricky yelled out, "Crack the sky!" And we said, "Whoa, that's pretty good." And we fought it for maybe a month before we, we ended up with it. Mm, well, that's great. And so what made you decide to re-release the anniversary album, the first album again, 45 years later? Well, actually, we're, we're working on releasing, and we have released From the Wood, which is the new record. Mm -hmm. uh, and we coupled it with, uh, with the, 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 old, the original remix, remake, remaster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so tell me from the wood what is what is from the wood about what's the story uh, well there's no real story about the the actual album itself except that it's all acoustic mm -hmm. um bobby one of the guitar players uh in the band came to me and said we should do an acoustic album to which i said no way that's <laughs> not interested uh and he said try it you know please so I wrote a couple songs and re recorded them just acoustically and sent them to the guys and everybody seemed to like it. And then I started to like it and we made a record. All right. Crack the sky. What are you going to do for us first? Uh, it's called Don't Feed the Tigers. All right. Don't Feed the Tigers. What's it about? Uh, it's about life here in America and uh, watching out for the external forces that, you know, can not so much help us, but hurt us. All right, let's check out uh, Don't Feed the Tigers. Here are the guys in Crack the Sky on Border Crossings.
border crossings, and that's Don't Feed the Tigers. We're talking to uh, John Palumbo, who's the lead vocalist of uh, the group Crack the Sky. And uh, so how did you guys survive COVID? I mean, you know, that, uh, that's a tough time for everybody. Well, probably like everyone else. I mean, we had to isolate, and uh, we, we, I personally just kept writing songs here because I, I have a studio in the house, which is makes it easy, you know, for not only to write, to write it and then record it and listen back and see if it's junk or not, you know. So, uh, mm -hmm. so that's what I did. Uh, and then isolating was pretty easy for me. Uh, the other guys, you know, it wasn't bad. I mean, if you're playing music, you can pretty much hang out and, and do that, you know, on your own and entertain yourself, I guess, with it. Yes, yes. Yeah. And the technology has changed so much since you started. 45 yeah. years ago, there's a, you know, they didn't have Zoom and, and you know, out of the market multi-tracking abilities. Email even 45 years ago didn't exist. So how yeah. did you make it work? I mean, the, the, the difference between then and now, were you a garage band when you started and uh, how, how did this evolve? Actually a basement band. <laughs> and, a basement uh, band. <laughs> yeah, recording with tape, recording in studio, so you didn't have to know how to be an, you know, so-called engineer. Uh, and then when digital came out, that's, that's when everything started to happen, mm -hmm. uh, with regard to home studios. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, you know, I just bought all this gear that a guy who really, you know, knows the stuff, uh, said, here, you need this, you need this, you need this. So I bought this gear, set it up, and then the guy came to my house and, uh, uh, helped me through it. Right. Actually walked me through it. Actually... The guy, I'm saying the guy, it's Glenn, the keyboard player for the band. Uh, and he's just like a wizard with this stuff. Mm -hmm. and, he's, and it was, Larry, I got to tell you, it was the strangest thing going from recording on tape to digital when you're <laughs> recording on nothing but a screen, you know. Right. The digital age. Yes, indeed. And, and now, you know, the way they make albums and market albums and sell albums is different than it was 45 years ago. Oh uh, when they had, you know, singles, but now, I mean, it's kind of what goes around comes around because now they have, you can buy a song, one song on, on yeah. Spotify or one of the music streaming services. So it's kind of the same thing that happened, but in a different format. Well, I know you used to make money on it. Now you don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's you the big crushed. difference. They come out with that and you just get crushed on it. Luckily mm -hmm. I write and get publishing, you know, mm -hmm. um, Boy, it's it's really a mess for anyone thinking about starting out. You better think twice. Oh, really? That's you would you would advise people to yeah. go slow about getting in the industry. Absolutely. Because one of the questions I was going to ask you is, what would John Palumbo today tell John Palumbo forty years, forty five years ago? Oh, uh, move to California and surf for a living. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. Does songwriting come easy for you? I mean, that's something you've been doing for a while. Yeah, I love it. That's why it comes easy. Mm. Uh, and it's the creative process keeps me really alive. Uh, it really keeps me going. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoy, like, when I get finished with something and I, I'm able to listen back to it, uh, it's very satisfying. Unless it's junk and then I throw it away. But I'm able to, to do that. I'm able to listen and, and kind of grade myself, you know. Mm -hmm. And if I'm stuck on something, if I really think that, uh, okay, well, this could be good or bad, I'm not sure, I'll send it to the guys. And then, you know, I take what they, what they have to say. Mm -hmm. So have you done a lot of touring? I'd imagine international touring. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you've toured. Inter tour I mean, it's international as Canada. That's as far as we got. Okay. Uh, Never gone to Europe yet. Uh, I'm saying yet because there's some talk about it. Uh, but yeah, we work a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to, I'm sure, watch. One of the benefits of being in the business is you get to see your fans become parents and then their children become your fans. Yeah, and it's, yes, sir. That's absolutely true. We see these young people and we ask, where, where are you coming from? You know? mm -hmm. uh, and they said, well, my dad said you were a good band, so we're, <laughs> we're coming out to see you. And you <laughs> feel so old, you know, and, uh, but it is generations, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it has to be, 
you have to be a good band to have lasted as long as you've lasted. And how many albums have you had out over the years now? Uh, 20. 20 albums. That is a lot of albums for any band. Yeah. You know, I mean, most bands don't make it past two or three, you know, but you guys right. have gone all the way to 20. So congratulations. From the Wood is the new album name. And uh, we talked about that a little while ago. Favorite songs, favorite tracks on the new album, From the Wood? Uh, Lady in the Lake is, is uh, probably my favorite. Hmm. Um, uh, there, there are a couple of fun ones. The Fun in Isolation is great. I Get High is, is funny. Uh, and you know, it's about avoiding, you know, not being able to even look at how bad things are for some people. Mm -hmm. Um, so the guy gets high and just ignores it. Mm -hmm. Um, so those three, I think, and, uh, and I like Don't Feed the Tiger. It's got a great feel. Mm -hmm. And what is the story behind the album name out of the wood versus uh, out of the woods, out of the from, wood, from the wood, from the wood or from and, the wood. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, take me a while to remember it, too. <laughs> uh, uh, because it's wooden instruments, just all acoustic. Oh, and, well, there you go. Yeah. Pretty obvious, but maybe not so obvious to someone right. like me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you can make up some stuff, sure. <laughs> John Palumbo is our guest. Crack the Sky is the name of the band, and you're going to do another song for us. Yeah, we're going to do Lady in the Lake. Lady in the Lake. We'll talk to John about this song, but let's check it out here on Border Crossings. Talk. 
Border Crossings, Lady in the Lake. Sounds interesting. I'm sure there's a story behind the song. Crack yeah, the Sky well, is the band. John Palumbo's our guest. What is the story behind Lady in the Lake? Lady in the Lake is uh, it, it's uh, an adult, uh, an adult wanting to be have the innocence of a child again, um, and it's, it's pretty basic and simple. Um, that's it, Larry. It, that's the story, huh? Yeah, the guy, you know, he's crying for that innocence. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that, you know, sense of purity. Yeah. Mm. What is the most, um, where's the most unusual place you've ever got inspiration for a song as a songwriter? Oh, that's a good question. Um, inspir- see, my inspiration usually comes with other, from other people and the news, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I think uh, outside of the library um, when I was in school mm-hmm. and uh I ended up with some girl and I got inspired with that. <laughs> some girl to remain nameless. <laughs> uh, John Palumbo's talking with us from Crack the Sky. From the Wood is the name of the new album. The band is marking its 45th anniversary uh, together by releasing the debut album back in 1975, which was self titled Crack the Sky. Right. And so have you guys collaborated with other guest singers over the years? Have you brought in any, any other guest vocalists when you record an album? Uh, not guest vocals, but I did write, uh, co-wrote a song with uh, the band Kicks, And that song's on, on this album, Don't Close Your Eyes. Mm-hmm. And we did very well with that. Mm-hmm. Got a if you could name the three artists that you'd like to collaborate with, you'd like to work with, whether it be on songwriting or performing, they could yeah. be dead or alive. Okay. What would, what would John Palumbo's top three be? Uh, Peter Gabriel, um, John Lennon. Uh, oh, and um, to name a producer. You can name a producer, sure. Uh, Gary Katz, the guy that did Steely Dan. All right. Wonderful. So tell me the sound of Crack the Sky. How would you define it? Well, people are calling it progressive rock, so I, I suppose it's a little bit progressive, but it's more kind of straight ahead rock and roll. Um, and, and you know, again, we take the songs apart uh, and, and focus the, the arrangements on the song. So uh, if you get one of our albums, you, you will find that it's there's no one kind of like form. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's kind of all over the place. Mm-hmm. With the central focus of it being, I guess, prog, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. And so when you guys started, uh, you know, it was vinyl. Have you thought about yeah. releasing some of your stuff on vinyl again? Yeah, we did. This album is just going to come out on vinyl if it's not already. The last couple albums were on vinyl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's an expensive process and takes time because vinyl is making a comeback and all the pressing plants are really busy. Mm-hmm. So you have to get in there about six months or so ahead of time. Mm-hmm. It's not easy to find a turntable, though. <laughs> uh, no, no. <laughs> That's the problem. There's a lot going on with the band Crack the Sky. Not only are they re-releasing their debut album, which is called Crack the Sky, self-titled, but they also have From the Wood, which is a brand new album filled with a lot of songs that we've been talking about. Are you going to do another song for us? We're going to do Fun and Isolation. All right, fun in isolation. It is Crack the Sky here on Border Crossings.
crossings and fun in isolation. Tell me about that song, John. Where uh, were you? Were you isolated? Yeah, yeah. That was the that's the kind of pandemic thing that we we you and I just talked about. Mm -hmm. uh, and and you know I coupled it with as we just said social commentary with uh, the the guy the narrator is is saying I'm better off isolating alone. Uh, from then dealing with all the crap that's out there and the mm -hmm. you know the people out there, so yeah, he got isolation. I got isolated and just thought that's the greatest thing ever. Hmm. And you had fun with it. So fun and isolation was born. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> John Palumbo is speaking with us today on the show. And uh, so, what's next for Crack the Sky? You know, the new album is out. You have a tour. Oh, you you kind of yeah, tease we'll the fact you might be going to Europe. Yeah, we are. We're working right now, and uh, we we'll work until the next album. We we'll just work right up to it, you know. But it's it, we get home a lot, so it's not like we're we're out. <coughs> excuse me, forever. Um, so we get home and we hang out here, and I work, I write here, and then we go back out and you know play and have a good time and. Doing that, that sounds like really, you know, the perfect life, but there's some down stuff to that too as well. And you had mentioned a little while ago that you wrote the music for one of the songs on the album, but not the lyrics. When right. you're when you're writing songs, what comes first to you? Is it always, always the melody or, or the lyrics? Always the music, yeah. Always. Unless I unless I do a song like uh I, I'm writing a new record now for a solo album, and the song is called Hot Tub. And I thought that that's a good title for a song, so I, so I wrote those lyrics first. Hmm. Now, for a band that has been together, you know, over four decades, tell me what the highlights been for you so far. Oh, I, I, I think that really the original uh, time when we got signed to a label. And somebody told me that, hey, we're going to pay you for writing songs. That's like the the most spectacular thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> I was like, wow, really? That's how this works? And uh, <laughs> yeah, and so it was then. It mm -hmm. was then. And where can people go if they want information about Crack the Sky? Are there social media sites? Do you have a website? Where do they go? Yeah, yeah it's crackthesky.com and then crackthesky.fan page. Uh, no. Practice slash fan page, uh, Facebook. You can find us pretty much uh, all around uh, social media. Well, we're so happy to have you on the show and really appreciate your time to do this for us. We're on in 100 countries around the world, and people might be hearing about you for the first time. They might be longtime fans. What would you like to say to the VOA audience around the world? Well, congratulations to VOA. I'm really uh, uh, happy to be on here. Uh, I've heard about Voice of America since I was a little kid, and it's just amazing. Uh, so congratulations to you. Mm. Well, thank you, John. Thanks for being on the show today. We appreciate it. Crack the Sky is the name of the band, and From the Wood is the name of the new album. So please join the celebration of their anniversary and get the new album and get the re-release of Crack the Sky. Thanks for watching Border Crossings. I'm Larry London, and this is VOA TV.